Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a button that can give you stats. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing we need to do is go under the view tab and open up Explorer and properties. After that, we're going to go into the server script service. We're going to click the plus and enter in a script. This is going to be our leader stat script. So I'm just going to name this leader stat. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and you can now write what I write. So game dot players dot player added con connect function put in brackets and we're just going to write player and then go out one and then go down the line and then we're going to write player dot character added colon wait. So what we've done here is when the player uh, joins the game, we're just going to wait for their character to load and then we'll now create our leader stat. So to create a leader stat, we need to create a folder first. So local leader stat equals to instance.new and inside the brackets, we're going to put in quotation marks and then we're going to write folder. And then outside the quotation marks, we're going to put a comma, a space, and then we're going to write player. So what this does is instance.new creates a new item. And in this case, we're going to be creating a folder. And then this comma player is just the parent. So we're going to be putting it under the player that just joined our game. And after that, we now need to give the leader stats a name. So leader stats dot name equals to, and this is very important when we put in our quotation marks, make sure that it is exactly like this leader stats with a lowercase l. Uh, that way Roblox knows it is a leader stat. And then the last part of leader stats is we need to create values under our leader stats. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using uh, clicks, but you can use whatever you want. So I'm just going to name this local clicks equals to instance dot new. So we're going to be creating a new item. And in this case, we're going to be creating a new int value. And outside the quotation marks, put a comma. And then this time we're going to write to leader stats so that this clicks value can go under our leader stats. After that, go down the line. We now need to give this a name. So clicks dot name equals to and then quotation marks and i'm just going to put in clicks and then this last part is optional but if you want them to start off with like a certain amount of this value um, or in this case clicks then you can write clicks dot value equals to and just put in like a starting value so for example if i put in 100 then they will start off with 100 clicks and that is all you have to do for the leader stats so if you go press play right now inside your game, you'll see that uh, you will have the people and also this little value called clicks or whatever you named it on the right. Now, obviously you don't have to use clicks. For example, let's say we want to use points, then you can just rename everything to points. So that's going to look something like this. So all of these are now points. And if we join the game now, you'll see it is now saying points just like that. So I'm just going to revert it back to clicks for now. So now that we have our leader stats, we can go back into our workspace right here. And what we need to do now is create a button. Uh, so to do that, we need to go back to our Explorer and go find the starter GUI. This is going to create our user interfaces. We're going to click the plus. We're going to enter in a screen GUI and then under our screen GUI, we're going to click the plus and we're going to enter in a text button. So this is going to be our button. So make sure it is a button. So like if you hover over it with your mouse, it should like gray out a little bit. That's how you know it's a button. But this is going to be our button that we're going to click to gain some stats. So you can play around with it. You can resize it however you want. You can drag it around. I'm just going to put mine right in the middle, just like that. And then if you click on your button and then go into your properties of it, this is where you can change how your button looks. So for example, you can change the background color, which um, I could probably change to, let's say like a nice gray color. You can change other things like the text it says. So I can change it from button to click me for stats. Uh, you can make the text scaled, which will just automatically enlarge the text. Uh, you can also change like the color of the text. Uh, I'm just gonna change mine to something like white it can pretty much play around with how your text button looks. So for me, that looks like this right now. It's just a big button that I can click uh, and says, click me for stats. So once you have your button done, what we can do is go under your button. We're going to click the plus and enter in a local script. We're just going to rename this script to uh, click handler. 
And then before we actually code in this script, we're going to go into the replicated storage. We're going to click the plus and enter in a remote event. So this remote event is key in how we're going to give the player stats when they click the button. Um, so if you want, we can just call it the click event. And now we can go back to our click handler and you can now write what I write. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to start off with some variables. So local button equals to script.parent and then local um, replicated storage equals to game colon get service inside the brackets put in quotation marks you can write replicated storage and then we're going to write local uh, click event equals to the replicated storage colon wait for child and inside the brackets we're going to put in quotation marks and we're going to fill in click event so make sure that the click event right here matches with the click event that is under your replicated storage so after that we can now go down two lines and now we can write our click for stats code so button dot mouse button one click colon connect function we're going to brackets and then we're going to go down the line and then we're going to write click event colon fire server and that is all we have to do for the button so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to the server script service we're going to click the plus enter in a new script and then we're going to call this script um just like click handler but just know that this is the, the one that's under the server. We're gonna go back to our local script click handler, and we can just copy these two lines of code that get the replicate storage and the click event. Go under the server click handler, and I'm just gonna create a new uh, note called variables. Just paste that in. So we have our click event handler right there. And after that, go down two lines, and you can now write what I write. So click event dot on server event, colon connect function we're going to put in brackets and then we're going to write player and then we're going to go down line so what this does is is from the client when we fire the server uh, this click handler server script is going to check who fired that remote event uh, and that's how we get the player now we can just check if they have a leader stat or and the stats that we want so local leader stats equals to player colon find first child inside the brackets we're going to put in quotation marks I'm just going to write leader stats just like that. And we're going to go down the line and we're going to write if player and leader stats, then I'm going to go down the line. So what this means is uh, if the player exists and they do have a leader stats, then we can now give them their value. So uh, we can create a new variable for the clicks value. So local clicks equals to leader stats colon find first child inside the brackets i'm going to put in quotation marks and we're going to type in clicks just make sure that the clicks right here inside the quotation marks if you go back to your leader stats should match the exact same clicks that are under the quotation marks over here so we go back to our click handler uh, server script and go down a line from that and then we can just write clicks dot value plus equal and then put in a space and then here, this is where you decide how much of this value you want to give the player. So if I put in one, and every time they click on the button, they'll gain one stat. And I've put something like two, they'll gain two. So I'll just keep it as one for now. And that is all you have to do. So let's go test it out. So here I am inside the game. As you can see, I have 100 clicks and this giant button that says click me for stats. If I click it once, you can see that the number of this click value goes up by one. And if I keep clicking it, it will keep going up by one. Now, if I go back into script and let's say I change it to something like two, if I go into the game, you can see I'm once again back at 100. But this time, if I click it, I will gain two stats every time. That will be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.